Hi everybody! We wanted to show you we have almost gotten done um, with the with the show. Look Hello. how tired. How tired I am a little I'm noticing I'm a little tired too. Anyway, we just wanted to show you what we've gotten done so far, so I'll turn this around. It's a great study here. Yeah, I'm noticing that too. So this is my side. Peter's side is all done. Um, I think we showed you. So all the way to the back, front to back on the right side, the masculine side. So we've got my side done, almost. We've got my linoleum print of a plant. It's very deep and yummy. And then we have the Life Giver, one of my early collages and I think she's 2005 and mother five we realized that um, this show my side of the show is I'm her daughter the book with the art because so much of my art is about mother and that my seeking of mother has what you know inspired has inspired me over the years to make feminine art and to seek the feminine face of the divine and to make art about that. So this is an old um, acid etching from 1988 of the two awesome ladies on a porch in South Georgia. And then we come around the corner and see we have a progression here. So here we've got the flower balbo. This is one of Peter's fractals in the back. So this is a collaborative piece. Gorgeous colors. And then a photo I took in France of um, kind of an angel, feminine angel. And then the balbo, if any of you know the story of the balbo, the balbo is the elder woman who came along at a crisis time and lifted up her skirt and showed her yoni and made everybody laugh hysterically and broke the tension and the crisis was resolved. So it's a call for humor and the wisdom of a crone to come in and break the tension. Something I think we could all use right now. So there's two babos. Babo over there, babo over here. And then we have the gold figure. And she's also uh, layered in with two of Peter's fractals, uh, the gold inside of her and the gold around her that the throne she's sitting on. But then you see that there's some NASA photography. And then I used um, a raven feather and then some black, some volcanic rock um, to round her out. I really like her. She's kind of dark and mysterious, sort of like a dark queen almost. And then we have Lady Landscape. This is uh, an original charcoal drawing I did uh, from a life drawing um, and layered in on top of one of Peter's landscapes. And she's filled in with one of his fractals too. And so what we're doing over here is my last section. So we're
is Our Lady Guadalupe of Guadalupe, and so I call her Our Lady G for short. And then I was like, oh gee, original Guadalupe. <laughs> it's so corny, I know, it's a very bad joke. Almost done with the first part. Ugh. Getting the pieces up. Alright, tell me where you want. Start hanging. Alright, so. Uh oh.
having a moment. Here's a little bit clip. Say we, at least we have the the show is up. So there's our lady in red. We have lots of work to do still here. We've got to level everything out, and we've got to put the labels up and get of all our collateral and everything up. But everything's hung. Everything is hung.
so you guys, we are calling it a day. Um, when we go out later on, maybe we'll take you with us to, um, to dinner and show you out a little bit. But um, thanks again for being with us today and watching and let us know what you think. And uh, we'll see you later. Bye.